What's going on YouTube? Gsno right here. So in today's video, I have some great news for those of you using the new Uncover for iOS 14. Many of the issues in the initial version have been fixed. So if you remember, back when it was released, I posted on Twitter, quote, some problems I had with Uncover 6.0.0 so far. And I said that it gets stuck at the step two, which is basically the exploit and then it panics. Then it got stuck at the step nine, which is the one with the sandbox and many people had this problem. And then it fails to restore root FS, substitute app crashes on the phone and of course random reboots and I'm actually glad to see that many of these have been fixed because Uncovered Jailbreak got a new version version 6.0.1 today so Pound Own posted quote Uncovered version 6.0.1 is now out with improvements to iOS 14 support and this was posted just a couple of hours ago so right now on the website if you get the version the IPA file you're going to get the IPA file for 6.0.1 which if you check out in here only what's new it says quote Fix loading launch scripts on iOS 14, fix disabled tweak switch, fix stability and reliability problems on iOS 14, and fix some jailbreak apps crashing on launch on iOS 14. So most of the problems that I have reported here on Twitter seem to have been fixed. Now I would definitely recommend you to go ahead and update to version 6.0.1 as soon as possible, because the version 6.0.0 seems to be quite buggy. It is indeed the first version and therefore it had a lot of bugs. It's normal and I'm glad they have been fixed quite fast. But yeah, definitely get the version 6.0.1. If you want to install it, the installation guide is available here on the website, depending on what OS are you using. For example, if you're on Mac OS, the best way to do it would be to use the Alt Store, which is available for both Windows and Mac OS. But for Windows, I think it only works on Windows 10. And for Mac OS, it requires Mac OS 10.14.4 or newer, which I don't have. You can also use Sideloadly if you want to from iOS Gods, that would work as well. But on Windows, you have more options, you have the CDI Impactor version, which can still work, you can still use CDI Impactor to get Uncover, but in order to use CDI Impactor on Mac OS, Windows or Linux, you need a developer account, which is 99 a year, but it doesn't expire after 7 days, so that's actually quite great. But as I said, the Alt Store version also works on Windows, so no problem. However, if you are running only Linux, your only option would be to pay for a developer account and get CDI Impactor. However, what if you don't want to use the Uncovered Jailbreak, what if you want to use the Odyssey. Well, Odyssey Jailbreak seems to be making a lot of progress as well, and even though it wasn't released on the same day, it will be released rather soon. Coolstar has posted on the same day of the Uncover release, Odyssey 14 betas will be going out shortly to testers on the Cilio Discord. There will be no SSH only build, we're skipping the builds of the Jailbreak directly to the full Jailbreak, so it means that they are skipping some unimportant tests and they're going directly to the full Jailbreak testing. So this means that Coolstar does have the full Jailbreak working, it just needs a little bit of testing and tweaking. So if you want to wait for the Odyssey jailbreak, you can definitely do so if you prefer Cilio or if you prefer the Odyssey itself. But do know that with the update released with the 6.0.1, the Uncovered jailbreak is indeed very stable and very powerful. So if you want to use it, you can definitely do so. And the most important thing, if you're navigating from the Checkring jailbreak, it actually can migrate with no problem and you don't even lose your tweaks. So it's definitely worth trying out, but definitely update the 6.0.1 if you're still using the initial version because it's so much better it has so many bugs that were fixed and it's much much stable so thank you for watching i am geosnow until the next time peace out